Well, hi. Well, hello, and welcome back to Lead Follow. Um, interesting one today. What I'm going to actually be talking to you about is these things on my face. And no, I don't think I look cool in them, quite the opposite actually. But these are the Oho Sunshine 4K video sunglasses. So as always, this is a totally independent review. I'm in no way sponsored or paid by Oho to review their product. Uh, again, it's just something that I've come across that I thought was awesome and I thought I'd share it with you lovely people. So if you spot right in the bridge of the sunglasses, actually a little camera and you can get them on Amazon, about 160 pounds. Uh, they've got 128 gig of built-in memory. They've got a microphone and they record at 4K, uh, 30 frames a second. Now you can lower the resolution. Um, they support 1080p and 1440p. So somewhere between 1080p and 4K. Let's say 2K for argument's sake. Um, every resolution records 30 frames per second and 1080p, you can actually bump it up to 120 frames a second. Currently, I'm recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. You can be the judge of what you think the picture quality is like. But I find that if you look straight ahead while driving, it's not too bad. It's when you start to check your mirrors, the stuff gets a bit choppy because your head moves surprisingly quick. Your eyes don't really give you the perception of how quick your head actually moves. Now, Oho say that you should be able to get 30 minutes of video out of full charge, but through my testing, I'm actually getting more than that. Um, I was using it at 1080p. Maybe that's why the battery was lasting a bit longer, but I'm now using it in 4K and we shall see. So when you're actually using them, to know that you're recording, there's actually an, a little red LED that's inside the sunglasses on the opposite side from the camera. When you're looking straight ahead, you don't notice it at all. But if you look top right, then you can see it with your left eye. So it's actually placed really, really well. There's some really smart design going on with these. 128 gigabytes of storage built in. You don't need any SD cards or anything. And it also records natively in H.265 codec. So for all those uh, geeks out there that know what I'm talking about, that's the one to have because it makes files a lot smaller than the old H.264 codec. So I've just popped into the supermarket, I'm gonna grab a few essentials, but I'm gonna take the sunglasses with me and do a little bit of recording as I'm walking around so you can get an idea of what the picture quality is like when you're on foot. So now is probably a really good time to tell you about the one disappointing lack of a feature here. For anybody that has a GoPro or an iPhone, you'll be familiar with the standard video stabilization features. So clearly here, these sunglasses do not have such a feature, which is a bit of a shame because it does make the video a little bit choppy and you have to really think about what you're looking at and try to keep your head as still as possible. Hopefully in the future, there'll be a new version of these glasses that has some kind of stability. So we're gonna do a little bit of an unboxing here, just to show you what you get. So opening the box. Pretty snazzy kind of faux carbon fiber case. Okay, so we've got the glasses themselves in a little Oho sunshine bag. Let's have a close up of these glasses while, while we're here. So this is what they look like. Very thick arms on these on this thing. But you can see here is the only kind of interface as such on the device. So you've got USB connector there. You've got a button that powers it on and starts recording straight away. You can also press that one time while it's recording to stop recording. And then you can press it multiple times to take photographs as you go. And then once you're done, you hold it down and then it turns the unit off. There is a little reset button there. So if the device locks up, uh, it's never happened to me, uh, but if it does happen to you, you can insert a paperclip there to kind of force it to shut down. 
let's move on to what you get in the rest of the box. So, got the USB cable, obviously, gonna need that. Got a little instruction manual, which basically tells you how to turn it on, how to turn it off, how to connect it to your PC or Mac. We've got spare lenses, so, yeah, a couple of standard black ones there. Uh, some more standard black ones, didn't even realize I had two sets, and then some clear ones. I personally, I'm not sure what you would use the clear ones for. You wouldn't walk around with these clear ones and you'd, you'd look a bit silly with these big thick rimmed glasses on. But I guess if you're working underneath the car and you want to be able to see what you're doing, that's probably a good reason to have these in. Okay, and then last thing, we have a little cloth for cleaning the lenses, which is quite nice. <clears throat> so, shopping in hand. Let's get going. Now they're really easy to use. They've only got a single button on them, so you, you really can't get it wrong. Um, and there is a connector for USB charging, and that's pretty much it, it's just those two things. Um, and of course, charging, you can just stick it into any USB socket, whether that's a wall charger or your MacBook or whatever, you know, any, any source of power and it will charge. Um, you can also plug it into a PC or uh, a MacBook and it basically just opens up as a USB thumb drive which is nice and easy you can just drag and drop the file straight out but yeah why would you want such a thing well if you're a youtuber like ed and myself then it makes life a lot easier if you're working underneath the car uh, you can be um, on your back looking at the underneath both hands free and recording everything you're doing without even having to think about it it's very lightweight um, the problem with using like a, a head mounted GoPro is that you catch it on suspension and the underneath the car and it's, it's quite weighty and they, they move sometimes and you end up recording either above what you're doing or below what you're doing. So at least these are right where your eyes are, what you're looking at is what gets recorded. But also if any crud falls off the bottom of the car, these are stop it from going in your eyes. So it's pretty good. They're not safety goggles, they're not safety glasses, however, they're gonna stop you getting uh, little bits of dirt and everything in your eye, which is great. Now these come with three different lenses. You've got the ones that uh, it comes with straight out of the box, which are these kind of like funky pearlescent blue ones. You've also got a classic black set of sunglass lenses, and you've also got some clear ones. Now, uh, the clear ones would be quite handy if you were working underneath the car in like a dark area or something. But it's very simple, you just push them out from the back and you push the new ones in from the front. Dead simple. And like I said, 128 gig of onboard storage. You can't expand it, there's no SD card slot. But I don't think you're really gonna need much more than that. Now, the advert on Amazon says that apparently you can get eight and a half hours of recording out of the 128 gigabyte storage. Haven't done that much recording yet. However, so far with the recordings that I have done, it's been pretty impressive. The files have been not too big. Quality has been decent at 4K. If we go on a track day and the 4K at 30 frames a second is a bit too choppy, then what I'm gonna do is probably drop it down to 1080p and use the 120 frames per second option. But yeah, so far, battery impressed camera picture quality impressed um, the sound the sound is not so good so I'm actually recording through this microphone but if I just switch to the sunglasses microphone you'll hear how poor it actually is it's quite quiet not much clarity so if I switch back to my chest mounted microphone night and day really so um, it's, it's good that it's got a microphone built in. It's nice that it has the functionality. You can disable it completely in the config file um, if you want to, which is probably what I'm gonna do because I'm not gonna use the audio layer at all. So, any other problems? Well, they do get quite hot. All of the gubbins that does all the recording is right up here on the right hand arm on the glasses and there's quite a lot of heat. It's never uncomfortable or burning but you just notice it, it's a lot warmer than the other side. And the other thing is, when I first got these, there were a couple of issues. I was recording in 4K, and the video would freeze after a random amount of time. Doesn't matter, sometimes it was 30 seconds, sometimes it was two minutes. Doesn't matter how long you use them for, they just freeze, and it would be like that for the rest of the recording. So I contacted OHO, 
uh, via messages on Amazon where I purchased this from and luckily they were able to give me a new firmware upgrade for this and it was dead simple. It was just a case of downloading the files, connect the glasses to your PC, drop the files into the actual storage, disconnect them, reconnect them, it does the firmware update and when it's finished it reappears as a drive letter on your PC so you know it's ready. At that point you just delete the firmware files, jobs are good, dead simple. So there are alternative video sunglass manufacturers on the net. Probably the most famous one is Ray-Ban. Ray-Ban actually makes some video sunglasses. Uh, the only problem with those is that they record a square picture, not a widescreen picture, and it's just slightly above 1080p. I may be mistaken, but looking at the tech specs, it looks like it's got two five megapixel cameras, one either side, and they combine the picture to give you a square, video recording of just over 1080p. I think it's like 1154 by 1154. If I got it wrong, I'll correct myself in the description. But for me, for what I was doing, I'd rather have a widescreen format and I'd rather have 4K if possible, or 1080p at a high frames per second. So these were the clear winner. The other thing is the price. These are about 160 pounds. The Ray-Bans, uh, for their top spec one, it's double this. I think it's like somewhere between three to 400 pounds. And again, if I got the prices wrong, I'll put them in the description below the correct ones. But yeah, I just wanted to share these with you because uh, if you're a YouTuber or even if you just go to events, if you want to walk around like a, like a car show or something like that, and you don't want to have to carry around GoPros or hold your phone up all the time, then these are brilliant. You just pop them on, press record, walk around, forget they're there just make sure you remember to stop the video after about 30 minutes of playback. They're only supposed to work for about 30 minutes on full charge. However, you could take a little battery pack with you and just plug it in and charge them as, as you go. Uh, don't see why that wouldn't work. But yes, um, I give these my stamp of approval. I think they're gonna come in really, really handy, especially I can't wait to use them on the next track day, which is Nerf, funnily enough. We're all going back to the Nurburgring in September. So I'll have my skid lid on, and I'll have these on my face and we'll hopefully get some decent laps in. It'll be interesting. But anyway, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll catch you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.